What's up, peeps, and welcome back to Sorel Plays. So, my group and I are starting our event, but we are only doing our first few orders. Now, a little bit of advice for clubs that may be a little bit worried about, you know, if you've got new players and stuff, and you're making rules, you might be a new club, you might be an old club, but struggling with these sorts of issues. So, just want to talk about what kind of things we suffer with um i mean um so first thing i want to say is have you ever accepted someone into your club and they have qualified you when you weren't ready to play it's happened to me and i learned some big lessons out of this um one of them is make your rules clear and the other one is make sure you have some sort of you've made some sort of decision about how many points we're allowed to accumulate before qualifying. Now, you may just start and qualify when you do on the day, but the way we do it is we delay our start. Everybody stocks up. As you can see, I've got rather a full food club storage at the moment. So 55 out of 55, it's totally maxed out. So what we do is we arrange a day about four days to go till the end um, so we make an arrangement and that's tonight we're all up and about it's 7 30 in the evening here but some of my players are in Turkey we've got some in Holland and in Germany as well so we're about three hours apart and it suits us fine to do it around this sort of time so we all get together and say right we're going to start making some points but not qualifying tonight so we're planning to start tomorrow but we have a rule and this was the rule I made up after somebody qualified us overnight and we woke up and we were 10th and it was a nightmare and we all had to rally round and you know prioritize the game to get on and accumulate as many points as we could possibly accumulate Luckily, we did end up first in that event because once we get cracking, we we do crack the whip. But the, this is where the rule came in that we will make around 300 points each. We started off um, at this point, at uh, this stage, um, getting our badges. But now I've narrowed that down a little bit more because your badge can come up at any time. You might have to accumulate 600 points before you get your badge. Um Equally, you might only get 200 points and get your badge. So I just thought it's a bit unfair because some people get to um, stock up more than others, basically, if you leave the rules as they were. So I wasn't happy to do that. So going with the rules, we've said tonight we're playing just the 300 points. And what you need to do is complete orders and keep checking on those points and make sure you haven't gone over um, of course, it's not always possible to get the 300 on the dot. It's very rare. I, I did get 300 on the dot last event, but, you know, that's not what we expect here. So, that's what we're going to do now. We're going to complete some orders. And try to keep the points low at the moment and complete the orders with the most items so that we can generally start using our stock up and then we can stock up again tonight ready for tomorrow so after that row of orders let's check what we are 152 so we're safe to do a few more now i haven't made my spaghettis and stuff because at this stage we're not in a rush to get the 300 points we just kind of do it at our leisure and i haven't emptied my fridge i will be making preparations as soon as i've got this 300 points i will start to stock up again and then tomorrow i will have mainly the event food in my fridge so that we can get cracking and start on the event. So we need spaghettis here. Got some of these ready. We've got our badge. 
We'll do one more order and see where that gets us. Just keep checking your points and be sure not to go too far over 300 points. Now we've got a special order which makes things very difficult but I'm going to complete that one just because it's a special order. So I've gone a little bit over because of that but now that's when we need to draw the line and stop and then just start stocking up again. So in the same way as we stocked up before we done the 300 points, we will stock up again and max it out to 55 items again and also keep some on top of the machines like we did just before we started. So today's the day and we have gone past our 300 points so that we can get qualifying. We need 64 more points to qualify and my points are 1,231 so far. Now the, f the ways in which you need to help yourself to accumulate the most points you can. I've obviously passed the um, first milestone now and I've opened up my first hearts so we need to wait for the next milestone for that. <coughs> unlock all your boxes, as many as you can possibly unlock so you can start stocking up again and because we haven't qualified yet I've been making the things that take the longest uh, the other stuff you can make as you go along so make sure you've made enough of the things that take the longest to um, keep you going so you can concentrate on making the things that don't take long to make now I'm just going to refresh this because it might be that we have qualified also quickly check the world Okay, it still says 64, so just keep stocking up. Every time something comes out, put another one in. Just like see it as your final chance to stock up while you can. Obviously, as soon as you start, when you qualify, you're going to need to start getting those orders out as quickly as possible. And like we've got here, we've got a special order, so we might not make that because we've put other stuff in front. And yep, we've qualified. So you see how we go with this one. Um, how many points is it? 77 plus 6. It's not too many, but still you want to get in as many as those special orders as you can. So if you need to gem through one of those now and again, then go for it. I'm also in danger of qualifying for Chef. Um, we've still got five days, so don't really want to do it, but if you have to, then you do. I'll talk about the ways in which you can make sure you get first on Chef as well. I'll do another video on that. There are ways and means, especially if you do have that handy second account, then you're 99.9% .9 guaranteed to come first course you have to put the effort in too. So that's where I'm at at the moment and within about an hour I will record what's been happening and what sort of points I've managed to accumulate in that time. So I've just bought a hell of a lot of tokens to do my second um, upgrades but the usual thing, I end up with loads of pineapples and I've spent so many blue tickets. We're in second place. It's early days yet. Uh, once again, it's a pineapple. I'll come out of it and see if I can reject that one. 
it really sucks when you just keep getting the same tokens, the ones you don't need. It's just really unfair. I had many blue tickets before I started and now I'm just running out and not getting any benefit from it which is really disheartening. Let's go back over there. Don't give me a pineapple. It did register those tokens. It didn't work coming out of the game. And another pineapple. So I'm going to finish all my tickets, my hard-earned tickets, and end up with too many of pineapples and it's still giving me more pineapples and again that is absolutely ridiculous 10 pineapples and most of these need the watermelon and the cucumber to unlock not happy with that at all I've got a special order and I'm definitely finding that the special orders timing is not great it's really not giving enough time to do them so it's proving difficult I had to use a couple of gems for that special order earlier on, otherwise I wasn't going to get that one. So I'm just going to carry on cracking on and see how far we get. I'm making lots of soup. It's asking me for a fair bit of soup and um, spaghetti. So I should get planting with these tomatoes. My storage is absolutely full. I'm not having much luck on the orders. And I don't want to use stuff prematurely and then end up needing them and this token situation really isn't helping that's absolutely ridiculous 10 pineapples and what did I request token wise I requested the onions So ways of maximising your points would be open up as many hearts as you possibly can. In this case my token situation is really ugly and I've just spent most of my blue tickets so I'm not happy about that. As long as you can get those hearts opened up that's the best way to maximise your points. If you go through what I've just been through with tokens then you haven't got much luck. I really wish they had this swap box. I could just quickly go in, give those ones in, and get the ones I actually need. So we've been playing for a couple of days now. This is uh, day four. This is the last day. And the way in which we are maximizing points is by making things in advance. So with whatever's coming up next, just making sure you've got that ready for the next stage. So you're one step ahead all the time. We're making sure we've got enough crops. And we are exchanging when we have too many of one crop. So we've got snow cones coming up. We've got one on there. We just need sprinkles. And we've made sure we've got sprinkles on here for the next one. Every time you use something, 
the best tip is to make sure you replace the thing you've used. Now, of course, you don't know what's coming up next, but it's good to try and be prepared. So we've got meat coming up and we're going to make these hot dogs next. And we need some corn dogs as well. So we need loads of meat. And on the other side, just growing your crops constantly. Anytime you notice you're getting a little bit low, just replant them. Make sure you've got enough eggs, make sure you've got enough milk. We're playing chef as well, so need to make sure we keep making some food as well. And it will keep your fridge down if you're cooking stuff as well. So if your fridge is full, you can pick any of the stuff here to make what you need. Now, because we need spaghetti here, I can't put this carbonara on until I've got enough spaghetti to keep me going. And that needs to be quite a lot, at least six of those. So if we just check... We are first, which is great. Um, if you look at the points I've accumulated, this is three days. Four days, because it's the fourth day today. So 27,220. And this is the way in which I work. So as soon as that meat comes up, we can put this corn dog on. And we're also making sure we've got enough of these the rest of the things we need to make more corn dog. Oh, still getting confused with the corn dog and the hot dog. So we need more meat and we need tomatoes. They'll pop up in a minute. And that's the best way you can do it. So keeping topped up on one side and gradually cooking what you need. And if you're going to get off for a bit, then put everything on, stock up and also within your group if you ask that they only request event food then if you get too full up you can always send them something so after this, after this meat comes up we're going to start putting more sprinkles on because we need those for the cotton candy so I kind of prioritise which, which menu I'm doing first depending on what stock I've got as well. So snow cones, we can't make any of those until we have reached the syrup. So we might as well put that on the back burner for now and just make these corn dogs first. I did put some snow cones on for this one, so if we get the hot dogs on as well. So we're going to have our fourth one, and depending on which order you're going in, like which one you've got the most of, for example, this time it's the cotton candy. As soon as a sprinkle comes up, oh, which is quite long down the line at the moment, you can put that fourth one on. Also, try not to pick stuff up when you don't need them. If your fridge is full, your pantry. I've got 43 out of 55, so no worries there. So we've picked up the meat. And we need to make one of these, so if we get some tomatoes. Make sure we've got enough bread as well. We're going to need two of those. So we're missing one meat. As soon as this next one comes up, we're going to get that corn dog out. And then the snow cones will be done by then as well. We're going to need the sprinkles, so let's put another one of those on because we're going to need one for the candy. So you just work out what you need when. And if you try and do it in a timely order, you can't go wrong. And trying not to cook too much while you are actively playing is the best thing because if you get a special order, you're going to miss it. 
So the meat's coming up next. We need to plan what we're making with that meat, which is the corn, the hot dog. As soon as those two hot dogs are done and the snow cones come out, we can bang that one out. In the meantime, we could put some mini donuts on, but I don't really want to risk it just in case. Um, have we got anything else lined up on there? So you just have to constantly keep checking what you've got, what you need, and what's coming up next. And I have to say that the most important thing, as you can see, I've used all my blue tickets to get tokens. The most, most important thing to be able to accumulate points is that you must open up all your hearts. Um, if you can do all three on each box, then that's great. If you can't and you're struggling for tokens, obviously you can swap with your group. Um, but that is the biggest way in which you make, you know, you reduce the cooking times and you get extra points for each thing you make. So without a doubt, if you're not doing that, then you're going to get low points. So the way in which you make your decisions um, affects your points and how quickly you get your orders done as well. So if we look at this, we see that we've got two green here, the grilled hot dog. We've got the greens here, the corn dog and the soup. And then we've got the corn, which is green here. And then you check your storage. So we've only got five spaces and go back to the menu again. If you look at trying to complete an order without taking up too much space you can see which order should go first so this one in this case needs to be the one you complete first so we'll just check what we've got here all we need is one of these syrups and then we can complete that one and then you check your food club storage again and it's obviously gone down a little bit because you've used one of the ingredients or two of the ingredients to make this and then go back to the menu again, and then on this list, we'll check which one's going to be more beneficial to make first. So for these cotton candies, we're going to need sprinkles. So if we go back to the merchant, sprinkles, we've got three on the way, and we only need three cotton candies. So they will be the next in line. And then we look at the menu again, and we need six of these syrups. So the idea is that you have to put the syrups on next to be able to complete this third menu. So our order is going to be snow cones first, uh, this one next, the cotton candy, and the last one's going to be the syrup. So by doing it this way, you are ensuring that you're not going to get a full storage and then start cooking stuff you don't need just to compromise and um, take up some of the space, well, release some of the spaces on your orders so it's not just about getting them out quicker it's about not filling up your space while you're trying to do an order because that will really um, mess up your gameplay so we're just waiting for a snow cone now we need to make sure that the snow cone is the next thing we pick up for this order but if we check our space we've still got four spaces so we can actually afford to pick up the sprinkles and put one of these cotton candies on and then we are going to carry on putting the syrup on because we're going to need it for this order here so once this order's done other orders are going to pop up and as long as it's not a special order or it's not an order that's not using any of this stuff we shouldn't complete the new order until these ones are done so you stick to your order of menus that you've decided you're going to complete as much as possible so in this case, our points are really good. We're um, around 8,000 in front. So we're not in any rush to get those out. So we don't need to jump on the next order without these three being complete. So we're going to complete this one, then this one, then this one in the order that we've decided. So you need to be planned and stick to your plans as much as possible. Sometimes you get off the game and you come back and you forget what chores you was going to do it in because everything's popped up and they're sitting on the ovens 
um, on the stations at the same time. And then you pick up, for example, you start picking up the syrups and then you get a full storage. If that does happen, the best place to go to is your merchant and pop any one of these on um, to take get yourself out of that situation where you've filled up your storage when you can't actually complete that order. So if we just complete this one now, the one we was planning to, so we've got a special order, which means we need to prioritise this one, otherwise we won't get it done. And we need sprinkles, which are coming up. Unfortunately, we've put a meat in between, so that's obviously going to add to the time. But in the meantime, we need to put these ones on hold as the orders come up as a special order. So you must concentrate on the special order and change your plan a little bit. But you can get back to your plan as soon as possible thereafter by um, completing the order you was planning to complete. But this is 87 plus 14 points, so you can't afford to miss out on this one. And we will have to rearrange our plan because we've got a special order coming up. The other thing, make sure that you've got enough... Um, crops to complete the ones that you're planning to complete so for example if I plant this I can still pick up the next one that I'm going to need for um, syrup and we've got plenty of corn so we don't need to worry about that one we've got enough sugar for now as well so our main priority is to have enough space and to make sure we've got enough of these spices in here to complete the next things we need to complete So we're not going to pick that popcorn up because we don't need it right now. I actually made that for someone, I think. Let me see. I've, I might have already sent her two, so I won't be able to send any more. Yes, okay. So we're not going to pick up the popcorn. We're going to leave that there for now. We're going to concentrate on these snow cones. And in order not to pick up other things, you use the question marks to get to your destinations and not actually tap on the station so that you don't fill up any space you've got. I think I have covered everything. Um, I can't think of anything else, but that is mainly it. I mean, Chef can also help you on one side as well by, you know, if you've got so many things um, that you've made milk and stuff um, completing orders for chef or getting things ready at the moment on chef I mean I'll do another video on um, successfully staying at no, uh, first place in chef that will be a separate video but you can help yourself by for example I've cooked this um, carbonara ready for a menu order even though it's not asking me for menu orders at the moment so you're always one step ahead if you plan and keep organised and really think about what you're doing rather than just banging things out, slapping things on and then you just end up with full storage everywhere and it's really not going to help you. So I think that's everything on maximising your points. Um, the main things are you need to be organised and planned and try to stick to the plans as closely as possible. I mean the plans change as soon as you get the special orders then you have to kind of rearrange what you're doing a little bit, but try to stick with the principles that you've set yourself and try to avoid the full storage situation because that does stop you in your tracks. So take care, everyone. Peace out.